so arima is made out of three words the first one is ar that is auto regressive this auto regressive can be told in a very simple way yt is equal to so sigma it minus 1 plus some error so i have a data we have product one demand and we have some dates associated with product one demand and we want to predict this day 14 demand over here so we got 13 days demand of some product and we want to predict day 14 demand and i'm seeing this product demand to yt what will be my demand for y t minus 1 it means the demand is shifted so this first day demand it has came over here this one has came over here this two this is a day two demand has came over here on day three this three which is day three demand has came to day four and like that we got demand for day 14 till day 14 we got demand what i am seeing from the equation that yt or the demand which is right now on hand is the sigma which is some arbitrary constant multiplied by yt minus 1 plus some error some random error let's apply this let's take this arbitrary sigma at some value so i got sigma sigma is equal to 1 let's take 1 so if i want to predict this day 2 demand with help of day 1 data okay if i want to predict this demand day 2 demand with help of this day 1 or i want to predict yt for this second row with help of this yt minus 1 what i can do yt minus 1 which is this one multiplied by this sigma or 1 okay 1 is our sigma so this is i am saying no this is i am saying y predicted now what is going to happen over here this 2 which is yt minus 1 plus this one the sigma so i got two now apply this formula to all the values okay i wanted to predict the demand for day 14 so my demand 13 multiplied by 1 13 now let's go over here and figure out the error for each value see we are getting all minus one error <laughs> let's square these errors so i can do square two and find out the average of all these errors or mean of all these errors So this is something like uh, we calculated in least square regression that is the same type of error we are getting over here. So we got average error of 0.1. Now let's try out some other value of sigma. I'm going to apply some value like 1.1 now. Sorry 1.1 over here. And let's apply this same formula over here multiplied by 1.1. .1. And apply this to all the formulas see our error was earlier 1 it got reduced to 0.24 so it means the sigma value of 1.1 is better than the sigma value of 1 so auto regression is predicting your future with help of the lags now i can take other lags also right now i have taken only one lag so i can have yt is equal to sigma 1 into yt minus 1 plus sigma 2 yt minus 2 plus sigma 3 yt minus 3 plus dot 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 
plus some error. As many as lag we want to take, we can take as many as lag over here. Now how these lags looks like in case of if I, if I want to see with the table. So this is yt minus 1. Let's have yt minus 2 over here. So this product demand shifted to two terms ahead over here. So you can, so this is yt minus 2. Then you have something called as yt minus 3. And this will be again shifted one ahead. So this is your yt minus 3. You are actually shifting it one step ahead in the days. Then you can have yt minus 4 also. If I want to if I want to take like 4 lags over here, what will be my equation? So I will have sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3, sigma 4. Sigma 1 will be multiplied by this yt minus 1. Then sigma 2 will be multiplied by this yt minus 2. Sigma 3 will be multiplied by, by 3 minus 3. Then sigma 4 will be multiplied by yt minus 4. And I will get some errors. So with the help of these lags, I am able to predict the predict the future of the time series. Is it okay? Now this is the autoregressive part. Now let's understand what is moving average. This moving average part works on the errors. Like we did in AR component, in MA component, we take yt is equal to phi times et minus 1 plus I can have phi 1 then I can have phi 2 times et minus 2 dot 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 till some number n then we have some some residuals which are leaving out from this equation now this equation looks a little complicated let's understand how this is happening with the data set et so what will be my et minus 1 I'll just shift this error one ahead here okay here I need to take the same values now as per the equation if you see we have phi 1 multiplied by error into t minus 1 now let's let do not take the second part here we are only going to take the first part first okay so as like we applied sigma is equal to some value now we will have phi as in some value let's take phi is equal to 0.5 so what you will do phi so phi is 0.5 multiplied by this error et minus 1 will be your prediction and let's apply this formula over here sorry this 0.8 multiplied by 0.5 yes, sir. yes now the takeout point from this series is in case of MA component we utilize the error to predict the future value we utilize errors utilize errors to predict future and in case of AR component we utilize to predict future now we have this term integration i the third the third term integration term so integration is an opposite of differentiation okay so it is it is just telling that how much differentiation you are applying on top of your series so 
i can be all either one or two or three i'll explain you how this integration looks like in terms of uh, data so suppose we right now i'm going to remove all these things so what is the first order integration one order if i am saying i is equal to one so it means i will take this series just shift it is series by one or what i will do i'll i'll subtract i i will subtract every term with its previous term so i will i'm going to subtract two with so i'm going to subtract two sorry two minus the previous term of two that is one then here we'll have three minus two so that will be one four minus three that will be one five minus four that will be one this is called this is first order differencing now if i'm having i is equal to two over here this two right now we talked about i is equal to one so in i is equal to two we'll have we will subtract the second terms from three so we'll have three minus one that is two then we'll have four minus two that will be two then we'll have six sorry five minus this three that will be two so in case of first order differencing we are subtracting the one the the previous terms from this its series but in case of second order differencing we will difference previous to previous term so for two we do not have any previous to previous term but for three we have this one as in previous to previous term so we are leaving out one we are we are just going two back two back in the series two two time step back to the series and then that will be three minus one okay three minus one will be two now for four we will go to i don't know uh, just leave this out whatever it is so let me do it here so we'll have three minus one that will be two then four minus two that will be two again two again two again. now what is going to happen in case of third order integration that will be three okay so so if i want to write down the combined combined formula combined formula for all so we'll have yt is equal to starting term plus we'll take the this part ar part sigma 1 multiplied by yt minus 1 plus sigma 2 multiplied by yt minus 2 plus dot 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 sigma n multiplied by yt minus n plus this error term phi 1 et minus 1 plus phi 2 et minus 2 plus phi 3 et minus 3 so this is the combined formula for time series arima model okay so what is what i am saying yt so I, I i told the formula for this integration and this uh, this ar component as well as for the ma component okay now, so what integration term is saying that your yt will be equal to mu plus yt minus 1 let me go back to the data and explain this yt minus 1 here so this yt minus 1 again will be shifted values of this yt now let me apply this formula mu plus yt 
minus one is equal to y t. Okay. So I will just remove these things. Let me just write predicted value P R E D I C T D. So what is going to happen here? I have y t minus one zero. So mu plus zero will be one. Okay. Now what is going to happen over here? Mu plus y t minus one. One, two. What is going to happen here? Three. Then, sorry for the state. Let me just fix this number. Now, what is going to happen here? Then, five. Then six. So, look at this. This six and this six. You are getting the same value. Five plus five. That's five. I I am able to write this integration order in, with a simple formula. Okay, now I am combining all these three formula y t, this this are the i model, a r model, m a model, and writing out the generalized equation. Generalized equation. So this is my this is my generalized equation for arima model.